In this video, I'm going to show you how Yocto project generate this splash screen. I'm going to show the first in sort of manual way, like what I would do if I wanted to generate a splash screen for Linux. And I'm actually going to do it on my own Linux machine. The video is going to be short because I'm going to be using virtual consoles in order to show you that. And mostly because FFmpeg sometimes have problems capturing virtual consoles or capturing display manager windows and so on. So I'm just going to go as simple as possible. So we're going to start by showing the output. This is the build directory. QMUX86 is where I built my emulator. And under it, I'm going to see uh, temp work core 2. Over there, I'm going to have the p splash directory. So you can see it now probably, but you're going to have a version plus git auto ink plus, and then started the commit. In this case, it's to 0, 15, F, 70, and so on. Let's go ahead and change directory to it. And this is a very, very, very good indication that if I go to the git directory here, this is going to be the commit that is going to be checked out. So if we do a one-liner, we see that indeed the first commit is 2015F70 20, and so on. And if I look at the git config over here, I can see that the URL is git yoctoproject.org slash splash. So on the fetch and unpack phases, we're going to clone from this URL and then check out the corresponding commit. How will this look and what is the recipe for this? So the recipe for this is under pokey meta recipe core p splash. We have here two things. We have your files, which under files, you have the p splash in it which is which is actually what is going to be run. You can see at the end slash user being p splash and some parameters angle rotation. And this is going to actually be run from the init scripts. Okay. When we boot our machine, the other thing that we have is an header file over here that this is a representation of a PNG image. There is a way to actually do this transformation. We'll show it in a later video. The recipe itself would look like this. It's going to have summary. We're going to have SRC URI that is Git. We're going to use the file p splash in it, and we're going to have a, a variable splash images that is going to actually be the representation of this image, this header file that we saw. We also have SRC revision that is 2015 and so on. We have phases and we will see that we inherit auto tools. So we expect that after we get the source, we can, we can do auto reconf, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. So because we are in the virtual terminals, I actually prepared like the commands for that for fetch and unpack that's what we do the git clone we check out and what i also do is i'm actually going to apply a patch so the patch will be this one and we see that we patch here two files p splash colors where we can see that i modify some white gray into a green color and the other thing is a header file that I generate myself that represent the picture I want to put in the splash screen. So I'm going to change the background to green and put my picture. So what? let's show again the unpack. Fetch and unpack. We'll go and do git clone. Check out this exact revision that we saw. And then we'll do git apply. After it, we're going to have auto reconf dash dash install and that's dash configure. So these are the entire steps. I don't want to do all of them. I just want to do in this example, the fetch first. So let's do this. I'm going to edit it very quickly. And 
that's what I want to do. So fetch and unpack, we're cloning. And we can see that at the end of the procedure, we have the gate tree that looks exactly like what we saw before. Which is this 2015 and so on. Great. But we actually want to go ahead and patch the file. So I'm going to do git apply to the patch that I had prior to it. And now I'm going to do the configure fetch. This is going to be the do configure phase, do configure task. So what I'm going to do here would be auto reconf dash dash install. The result is going to be, among the other things, a configure. After it, I can do make. And after this, I can go ahead and do ps splash. The permission is denied because I need to actually access the frame buffer. So here I'm going to run into the super user. go ahead and grab the repositories and not just use whatever is built from Yocto. It's because if you look at the dynamic libraries of PS Splash, then it only uses libc, but libc the 3.2 and libc that the Yocto project built 3.2 would most probably not be the same. So that's all for now and I'll proceed in another video.